Okay, guys, welcome back to Bloodstock TV. I am sitting here with the mighty, mighty Mother Vulture. How are you guys? Doing good. Really fucking it. Really good. Really good. Now, I just wandered up to the Sophie Lancaster stage and I walked in on a fucking tornado on stage. Oh my God, how did you enjoy that show? Like the audience was just like, uh. Uh, Yeah, I think it's probably our biggest gig today. So, yeah. yeah, the most amount of people we've seen in front of us, I think, so that was nice. I believe that they needed a bit of a warming up and that's exactly what you we You gave did. it to them. I can't believe they needed it after how hot it's been today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What a great welcome to the festival for you guys. Obviously, yeah. you're, you know, you're a, you're a relatively new band, a new band. Uh, this is your first time playing here. Now, for a lot of people that have not heard you, don't know who you are, just briefly give me um, just a background on how you guys came together. Uh, it's pretty bog standard, really. Me and Chris, the bass player, who is not here. Um, yeah. We're writing songs together for a little while, uh, and then sort of, Found this guy in a pub. I could tell he was a singer because of his long curly hair. Long curly hair. Long curly it was hair. at the time. Yeah. Right. Uh, it, it used to be all the way down to my waist, and then, <laughs> as he likes to say, uh, he basically went up to the singer that he wanted. He said no, so he came and spoke to me instead. <laughs> so you're a second choice. <laughs> Not true. All right. Well, you picked well. You picked yeah. well. Now coming from Bristol. Uh, you guys, like your sound is not really conventional. It's not really. It's you know, it doesn't fit into a said box right so there's a lot of different things in there that you can hear um and did you like within that scene in bristol did you find it hard to kind of were you kind of thrown in with lots of different type of bands when you were coming up or was it you know do you know what i mean like yeah. did you find did you find it kind of hard to fit in with what was going on or a little bit we kind of found our feet down in down south like in cornwall really just because it's just kind of really high octane rock and roll with a bit of this and a bit of that i mean We've all got really different tastes of music. Matt's into like indie stuff, I guess. Indie stuff, yeah. yeah. Oasis, that sort of thing. George is into like kind of new metal most of the time. Yeah. So mine was a little bit on the darker side, which was kind of more comfortable for here. But again, yeah. our music was hard. I think yeah. again, we found it quite challenging. Uh, I, I found it a little bit scary at the beginning. I didn't think that the crowd would, uh, you know, kind of gel to it. But I think you know, again, we warmed them up and it worked. Yeah. I mean, was it a conscious sound to, uh, was it a conscious uh, decision to kind of meld these, melt these sounds together? Or was it just like when you got into a room, you started writing, you started doing this, this is just kind of what came yeah, out? Yeah, I mean, we just kind of, well, for me anyway, when I started writing music with Chris, we just wrote the music that we want, we wish we could hear, which is kind of like, I'm really into like ACDC and stuff like that, um, but just kind of, we just wanted to incorporate a bit more heaviness and a bit more like kind of grooviness and these kind of just what happens like it was quite organic really you're kind of one of those bands again i picked up and like frank carter kind of appeals to so many different people and i think you are a band that can definitely appeal to someone who's into the punk elements into the rock stuff the classic rock the metal stuff that's a really really difficult niche to be comfortable in mm -hmm. um so i mean do you foresee going forward that you're going to just keep on this, I suppose, deliberately not saying, right, we, we're just going to kind of do our own thing, stay outside the box and just try and push the envelope as much as possible? I believe we're going to try and win people over with what we're creating. I don't think that we're going to take any punches below the waist for other people. Yeah. Um, in the end of the day, what we do is natural and we don't want to change that. Yeah. Yeah, we just write it till it breaks. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think we want to be in a box. I, there isn't one. Yeah. So yeah. Who wants to be in a fucking box? Yeah, Nobody. we've got some new stuff coming out, and it's all... I don't think there's any two songs on the album which are kind of like, album? Who said that? Um, <laughs> there's no there's no two songs that you know that are exactly the same or sort of like fit within the same box. I don't think. It's all got a bit of different spice to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, um, so far we've had Fame or Shame, The Wave, Rabbit Hole, and most recently Honey. Yes. As singles, right? Now, uh, full length album is on the way. Oh, it's, it's on the way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. When? <laughs> uh, soon. Uh, let's, soon. Should we, should we just say yeah. it? It's got out in about two months. Okay. Yeah. All right. Another another single drop beforehand. Is oh, that the plan? absolutely. Yeah, right, yeah. Very good. Now, uh, obviously, we're here at Bloodstock. You've just played your first time at Bloodstock performing. Have you been to Bloodstock before as punters? My, I became obsessed with the festival. No, he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I became with a, uh, obsessed with the festival when I was 15. I said I'll never buy a ticket until I don't perform. 
I should have bought a ticket though because the festival has such a lovely community and everybody yeah. from the stage management to the security has been lush to us and you know I wish I supported that earlier on. No. No. Okay. So first timers. <laughs> my sister what a way to come yeah. to Bloodstock first time. Yeah it's been performing. amazing. Yeah. Um, now with regards to touring can you give us any details of what's going on? Are we? Are you going to be obviously around the release of the album that you're telling me is coming out in two months? Yeah. Are there shows, books? Can you talk about it, stuff happening at the end of this year, or is everything loaded onto 2023, really? Um, we're kind of pull it, trying to sort of pull it together at the minute. We've got some stuff sort of like October sort okay. of time in the works and a bit of this and that. Nothing nothing crazy, but we'll be definitely, you know, doing a bit of a uh, bit of a tour around the album, like in yeah. October. October time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We should just be telling you flat out all the dates because we need people to come to the shows. Yeah. <laughs> um, October is a, October is a solidified tour, yeah. as far as we're concerned, and also our next festival is going to be Arctangent. Oh, very yeah. nice. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Very good. So for those who are going to Arctangent and people that have have not seen you here and missed yep. out on you and you uh, touring hopefully beyond the UK mm -hmm. explain to me as best you can because I've seen a little bit of it Mother Vulture Live equals like what is the best way to, trans uh, to Mother translate Mother Vulture Live equals broken legs big riff energy it's trouble trouble, trouble. that's good Ooh, trouble. Yeah, trouble 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 yeah Okay, well, listen, Mother Vulture, keep an eye out for them. Album coming out soon, tour dates. There's a lot happening with this band. Please keep your eyes out for them. Big things happening. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Have a great it. rest of the festival. Thank Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>